Hi, and welcome to TheRave.com. I'm Linda Kane. I'm here with Matt of August Burns Red. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to The Rave. Thank you. Good to be back. Absolutely. And let's just get right into it, the AP Tour. Mm -hmm. How does it feel being one of the headliners of this fall AP Tour? It's pretty awesome. Uh, we're about three days in. This is our fourth show, mm -hmm. and all the shows have been amazing so far. It's our first tour in the U.S. in a bus, and it's wrapped in this like big Airwalk uh, logo, and then and then on the other side it has all the bands' names, and it's 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 kind of surreal walking on the bus, just kind of looking at all the names, and then walking to my bed, and it's 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 a very comfortable tour. It's been great so far. Nice, I did see it outside. <laughs> How can you miss it? <laughs> yeah, it's white. <laughs> yeah, so I'll just like, what's the vibe like? You know, with Bring Me the Horizon and the other bands going on. I mean, like, I know it's just the fourth night in tonight, but mm -hmm. it's good vibes so far. Great vibes. All right. I just got done playing. Um, uh, it's a game called Cornhole. Yes. You, know, you take a bean bag and you throw it across Bags, twenty cornhole. foot gap and you land it in the hole. So uh, that's <laughs> that kind of is the that kind of encompasses the vibe of the tour so far. It's really mm -hmm. easy going. Um, we like to kind of pass the time with you know games like that, and we've actually toured with Bring Me the Horizon before. Mm -hmm. So it's it's not that we came into the tour not knowing any yeah. of the bands. Um, we are more so a heavier band than the other bands, I guess. But I like that dynamically. I think Polar Bear Club is a, a cool band. They're a little bit softer. Uh, this is Hell is sound checking right now, I think. <laughs> and they're a little bit more like old school hardcore. Um, Bring the Horizons obviously heavy and and, and kind of has their own staple sound. Um, and then Amorosa is awesome. They're kind of out in their own world. So I love it. It's It's been a great tour so far. Nice. Yeah. And then let's just talk about uh, well, your current full length album, Constellations. Congratulations on the success of that. Thank you. And now you recently released your first live CD, DVD mm -hmm. called Home. There it is. There it is. Right. I like that artwork. <laughs> it's cool. And yeah, well, tell us about what it was like making it. Um, boy, excruciatingly hot. <laughs> we filmed it at home in a gym, and there were 1,200 people in the gym. And we did the whole set at noon the day we played the show for the audio so we could record everything in case something went wrong for the actual show. And so I played all 14 tracks. I played drums in the band. And... Um, and I was soaked and just exhausted by the time we were done, you know, by one or two o'clock. It was like an hour and a half set. <laughs> and then show time came and I was like, all right, I feel all right. I drank some waters and Red Bulls and felt good. Well, by the fourth song, I, I don't remember playing the fourth song. I actually blacked out. I played it fine, I guess, per the DVDs. Uh, you know, performance. <laughs> um, but, and then I came back and I remember the rest of the set, but I honestly do not remember the fourth song we played. And uh, so it, it kind of made for an exciting DVD because I look back at it and I watched it the other day and you, you can see the, the pain and the, and like how much, you know, how much energy I'm exerting and, and sweats pouring out of me. And uh, just, it took a lot to get through it. But, um, it's a really cool DVD. It's two parts. So there's the live part, which is called Home, and then the other part of the DVD is called Away Games, and that's a documentary of the band. And it's not so much like a history of the band. It's more so here's who August Burns Red is now, you know? Yeah. So if you're a new fan, um, it kind of brings you up to speed very, very quickly and has great character development. Mm -hmm. uh, my singer's alter egos, uh, my faith in Jesus Christ and how that, that kind of plays into touring. And, and just all of our personalities are kind of encompassed in it. And then, of course, the other part of it is the CD, which is just the audio of the show. Absolutely. So. That's awesome. Yeah. I know. So, I know, speaking of heat, you know, you finally have a nice day here in mm -hmm. Milwaukee. Um, I understand you just had some bad luck with weather the last few times, just with <laughs> snow or with cold. I mean, yeah. the last few times here, I know they're... Get some shovels with backing up <laughs> <laughs> the van. Yes. <laughs> the trailer. We had the van and trailer attached to each other on um, a, a tour we did here, maybe with Asley Dyne or something, two tours ago. And there was a, a pile of snow in front of the van, and we were told to move because we were in the way of something. And so we backed everything up, and somehow the van and the trailer kind of concaved together, and there was no way to get them separate except to unhook the trailer and pull the van forward. And that put us further in the hole. <laughs> and so we spent like, 
probably an hour out there with gloves on, like just shoveling snow out of the way and trying to figure this thing out. And that was kind of the memory I had of the rave for a long time <laughs> until today when we show up and I walk out of the bus and it's sunny. Nice. And I walk down to the river walk and see, see the Fonzie statue. Oh, you went and saw the bronze Fonz. <laughs> I, I, I had to see the statue. So Someone posted on Twitter like, you know, go see the Fonzie statue. I was like, what? That's here? Of course it is, you know? <laughs> so thank you. The, thank you, Rave. Thank you, The Rave, for being a great place to play. And thank you, Milwaukee, for, uh, for, for providing great weather you know, today. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So have you gotten a chance to really explore the Rave, either today um, or, you know, the last time you were here? Yeah, I went upstairs to the big stadium part last time. And it was empty, of course, but it's kind of like, you, you kind of get dizzy when you go up there. It's so mammoth. Mm -hmm. But um, not really. I mean, I've just kind of been backstage and mm -hmm. outside. Is Lots there anything you should tell me about? Well, you know, it's just a thing we ask the bands a lot. You know, exploring downstairs, we have the empty pool. We have the boiler room. Yep. Different vibe. So, I don't know, maybe you should check it out tonight, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of the ballroom upstairs, excited for tonight, you know, playing upstairs, you got Megadeth, Slayer, and Anthrax, I mm. mean... Come on. It doesn't get much bigger than that. And yet our show's still still selling out, or it's doing well, mm. at least, you know, so... Just a great day overall today here, huh? Great day overall. <laughs> we were just in Milwaukee, actually, for Summerfest mm -hmm. uh, downtown, and that was awesome as well. So, I really enjoy this, this city. It's mm -hmm. great. Nice. Well, I just got to admit that I'm very excited to catch this show again tonight because last time I saw you here, I was just blown away. Just yeah. love, I mean, just the energy and like the noise, and it's just, it's just amazing. <laughs> what are you gonna do to one up the last show? Um, I might be playing a drum solo tonight. Okay. If the crowd's good enough, I might play a drum solo. So that's kind of a little treat. Um, a little side note here. I, I, um, I cut my thumbnail too short. <laughs> And this is not a big deal to anyone, really, unless you play an instrument and you know what I feel. But there's, like, blood underneath my fingernail. When I hold the stick, it kind of pushes up on the skin. And uh, so depending on how I feel, you know, I'll play the solo. If I'm hurting too much, you'll know it, and I won't play it. So. <laughs> cool. Well, what's next for August Burns Red? Boy, what's next? Um, we're doing this tour until the end of November. Then we go to Australia for... Um, seven shows i think with no effects me first in the gimme gimme's i think kill switch engages on it parkway drive suicide silence a day to remember it's it's a huge like six or seven day tour called no sleep till dot 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 and uh then we write and record a new cd this winter um do some some little shows in the spring and then we'll hopefully release the record next summer so very been busy. busy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Matt. Mm -hmm. Good luck on the rest of, of the tour and can't wait for tonight. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Right. And thank you for watching therave.com. Make sure to check out August Burns Red's current live CD DVD release home. And we'll see you soon next time on therave.com.